Dwaytech, what do you think about DriveX? I think the game doesn't have sex. Oh, the game is fantastic and flabbergasting. Lol. Boys, the DriveX game just dropped, and we are going to be reviewing it little by little, and I will be showing you all the details and errors in the game. And yes, make sure to subscribe and let's hit 90k together. Let's go. So firstly, as soon as I downloaded the DriveX game, the interface looked quite good, but something unexpected caught my attention right away. There are no settings. I mean, there are literally no settings options in the game. No options for graphics, no control customization, nothing. This was a huge surprise to me, and I'm sure it's been the same for many of you. Now, this lack of settings has made it difficult for a lot of players to adjust the game to their liking. Without the ability to tweak graphics settings, those of us with mid-range or low-end devices are stuck playing at the default settings. And for some, this has made the gameplay experience feel a bit laggy, especially during intense crashes or high-speed driving. I have seen lots of comments about the laggy gameplay in DriveX, and I think it is because there are no settings where players can adjust their graphics settings that suits their device that has made many players to feel a laggy gameplay. So from what I've seen online, I think the developers needs to look into it. Some players have expressed their frustration, saying that the lack of settings makes it nearly impossible to enjoy the game to its fullest. They're missing out on smoother gameplay because they can't lower the graphics settings. Others are finding the controls difficult to manage, as there's no way to adjust them. So this is a big red flag for the game that the developers need to look up to and add it. Now, despite this, DriveX Car Crash has a lot of potential. The crash physics are fantastic, and the overall gameplay is a lot of fun when it works smoothly. LOL. What we're really hoping to see in future updates is a settings menu. Something that gives players the ability to adjust graphics and controls to fit their personal preferences and device capabilities. <laughs> now there is one satisfying thing about this game. The game is totally free in all aspect. I mean, you can unlock each car just by watching ads, and some cars just require subscribing to their YouTube channel. So everything in DriveX is totally free and doesn't require any sorts of coins or money to get. So the DriveX game looks absolutely incredible and really beautiful. Now there are literally lots of sections you can play in, and some are coming soon. Now there have also been some questions regarding if they will add trucks to DriveX. Well, yes trucks will be added in the modding section, where you can download and add mods, and yes the section is currently closed for now, but as soon as the game continues to update the developers will give access to the modding options and we would get to drive truck and even buses, depending on what we request for. Now talking about the soft body crash physics in DriveX, I've spent some time playing it, and I have to say, the crash physics are absolutely insane. When I first got into the game, I was immediately impressed by the crash physics. I mean, just take a look at this. So the DriveX also has a very realistic soft body crash. Like you can even see airbags pop up as soon as you crash. Now in order to make things simple for the developers, I have come to notice that most of the lags players experience was in this map called Utah, because some players have noticed that when the crash in any of these rocks their gameplay becomes laggy. So the developers needs to look into the Utah map and optimize it, because I know the developers are watching this. Also. The game doesn't seem to have an interior camera angle, which players have also requested. You know, to make us feel the crashes in the interior viewpoint. So all these is what I have found out about the DriveX, and hopefully, they will be fixed because this is just the alpha version of the game. So it's normal to experience issues in the game that are in the alpha stage. So boys, if you have any other issues you are facing that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe for more DriveX videos. Thanks, and see you in the next one.